I was just considering on my hike the complete chaotic nature that I was hiking through. You know, I was up uh, on Mount Tam through the canyons and yeah, everywhere I looked there were like trees down and roots popping up out of the ground and just, you know, everything was somewhat chaotic if I wanted to really describe my experience that way. And yet, even though it, amidst all the chaos, there was this complete, pristine, beautiful, peaceful, calm, unobstructed beauty presented at the same time as the potential for chaos. And I was just thinking, wow, you know, this is, this is exactly what goes on moment to moment for us. If we limit our intelligence to the data that streams, all our thinking, all our emotions, all our sensations, whatever our momentary experiences are, we can really think of our moment to moment experience as being completely chaotic and something that we really need to change in order to hopefully find serenity or peace or calmness amidst the moment to moment experience. And so it was just so, it's just so simple that we have this choice in every moment in how we want to use the nature of our own mind. Do we want to cave in and focus on all of these, these little things and describe them this way, that way, or the other thing? Or is there another way for us to use our mind? Can we, in the midst of everything flowing for us moment to moment, just relax with everything that's going on? and just allow whatever this free-flowingness is to be as it is. And then see what happens when we do that. So this to me was one of the great practicalities of being introduced to the training. That what was being presented was just another way for me to experience my everyday moment-to-moment -moment experience. And that it, it was my direct experience that I can build upon. It was nice to hear people give me instruction, and it was nice to have a support system. But in the beginning, for me, it was really important for me to have my own direct experience of everything that was being spoken about and everything that I, I read and everything I was listening to. And, uh, and, and I like that. You know, I'm very practical. I want to have my own direct experience. And then I can test it out. I can really see, well, what's happening for me? And, and so this, this to me is the question about the four mainstays. The four mainstays are an algorithm. They're, they're an algorithm. There's four parts to the whole, so to speak. And we are presented with this amazing support structure to train up the recognition of open intelligence in our everyday life. And if we choose to use all four of the mainstays, what is going to be our experience? This was the question I asked myself. In the beginning, I really only wanted to use what I was comfortable with, which was listening to the audios, because I could do that on my own. You know, I could just hide away in all of my data and just listen to audios and, and get a little bit of support. And that was, that was great. But at some point, I, I was hit with all of the data of why I wasn't using all four of the mainstays. Why was I shying away from some or or not shying away from others. And, uh, and, I, and I had to get real with myself and ask myself the same question. You know, what, what's, what's my direct experience if I open myself up to the full spectrum of support? And so it was up to me. You know, it was up to me, just like it's up, up to all of us in every moment, what to do with, with the streaming data. Do we, you know, indulge in old behavior patterns of avoiding it and replacing it and indulging it and just describing everything to be something? Or do we rest for short moments many times? And so we make that choice moment to moment. And so for me, it was the same thing with the mainstays. You know, what, what would it be like for me to open myself up to relying on all four mainstays and then have my own direct experience of, of how that is empowering my direct experience or my everyday life? And I, and I saw very clearly that the way to open myself up to all four mainstays was to rest with the data that was arising for me that was holding me back from relying on all four mainstays. So you see, it's, it's very related. And, uh, and so we come back to the simple practice, resting for short moments many times, the humility to be supported in a way that is so comprehensive.
the Four Mainstays algorithm is so comprehensive in its ability to support us to really directly see our own empowerment as a human being, to directly see that it, when relying on the Four Mainstays, just like it was mentioned in the talk today, there's an organic shift to our everyday uh, qualities and activities. And all of us have, have see that our, our speech shifts, the way we, we use our mind shifts, the, the body, the qualities and activities that emanate from relying on open intelligence are very different than the qualities and activities that emanate from reifying everything. Jumping in on, on the descriptive labels as, as meaning something other than being nothing other than the dynamic energy of open intelligence. So this we see from the very beginning, that the, the data that's streaming and open intelligence are completely inseparable like the color blue in the sky. Now today, I, I would think that nobody in this room questions the inseparability of the color blue and the sky. Right? And so this is what we train up, where we no longer question the separateness of our moment-to-moment -moment experience from the, 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 the stability and the skillfulness and the unobstructed nature of our own opening intelligence. And, and then we see in our everyday life, what does it feel like when we're empowered with this great knowledge? We have lots of experience when uh, we've been relying on reified intelligence and, and we've, contri we've contrived our everyday experience or we've been on the hamster wheel of replacing, avoiding, and indulging. We've been on that roller coaster ride of thinking that whatever's appearing for us can affect us. So we have lots of experience that way. So why not? Why not open ourselves up to a different experience and test it out? And the way to test it out is just whatever's happening for you, moment to moment. We don't have to do anything different. We don't have to go anywhere or do anything, but just see, wow, what really is going on in, in my mind? You know, what, what is all, all of this dynamic energy? Is it really something other than the open intelligence, or is it the beneficial potency of open intelligence? And so this is what we are really supported to see in our everyday life, and it's so powerful, as you know, to have that direct experience. And, you know, we can take, say, anger or jealousy or pride or arrogance, some of the great afflictive states that really rile people up, and we can just see, well, what happens when, in the midst of feeling this great upsurge of of energy that I've labeled as anger or arrogance or jealousy, what really is that energy? If we just rest and relax in the flow, we see that all of that energy is the beneficial force and nature of our own open intelligence. It's never been anything different than that. We've maybe put ourselves in a in a training methodology that trained up the, the, the misperception of there being two. But here, we really get to train up the correct alignment with reality in which we see this inseparability moment to moment. And so, you know, like anger. <laughs> you can write it out, anger. You know, what is that? You know, does it really have substance? Does it have any material power in and of itself? Or is it possible that it just is the dynamic energy of this intelligence, and when left to be as it is, we see the, be the beneficial nature of that recognition. You know, like was said in the video, boom! You know, we, we, we open ourselves up to have the direct experience of, of the benefits of just letting everything be as it is. And then we, the, the skillfulness of open intelligence is right there for us. You know, we're not having any knee-jerk contrived reactions, we're not off on a story, we're just potently recognizing our own power as a human being. And then this comes forth in, in our everyday activities. And so, you know, when we think about the, the platform of the Four Mainstays and this lifestyle choice that we're making, it isn't that, you know, the, the Four Mainstays are over here and everything else about my everyday life is over here. Four Mainstays job, Four Mainstays community. It's, it's that we are choosing to live our life from the, the platform of the recognition of open intelligence, like 
from the top of the mountain where we can see everything very clearly rather than from the canyon floor where we don't see everything so clearly. And so at, if we stay close to the mainstays and we use the support system here, everything will start to come together. You'll start to see that you can be in the workforce with people who aren't relying on open intelligence but because you're relying on open intelligence, you're bringing great benefit to that situation. You are, you are bringing the power and potency of open intelligence to the decision making, to the conversations, to the, the workplace environment as a whole. And you see that the, the two, there's, there's, not, there, there's not two things going on. There's just your life with your commitment to rely on the mainstays showing up however it is showing up. And, and I know for myself that the decisions that have come for me from relying on the mainstays have just organically shifted the way that I am living my life. I find myself in, in community now. You know, it's just where I'm naturally drawn to be with people who have a similar commitment that I have. And, uh, and, and I think that all of us can really see this, but it's just a gradual process and we just allow everything that's, f that's coming up for us to just, to just be as it is. You use the four mainstays, use all of the four mainstays and see. Just, just see in your everyday life if you feel more empowered by relying on all four mainstays. And, th and then you'll know. And if you use all four mainstays, you can be assured that your decision making will be for the greatest benefit of all. And so that makes it very settling and very easeful. <laughs>